Hello, Lilas. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new, welcome. Extra welcome. Glad you can join us. But if you want to stick around and keep in touch with me, hit that subscribe button. And also, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want to go a little bit further and get a little bit deeper in my business, then go ahead and become a MVP Lola by joining the chatterbox. <laughs> and that is my paid channel membership. You do have to be at least 18 years old because it's grown folks business. So you do have to be at least 18 years old and it is $4.99. So we got a little bit of something, something going on in there every now and then that might make you, you know, feel like it's worth that $4.99. Um, and that's four dollars and ninety nine cent, not four hundred and ninety nine dollars. Cause baby, listen, honey, if I got that, ah, period, poo, I'd be rich. Okay, okay, okay. So yes, of course, I want to grow my membership. I want a lot of you guys to join. But today, that is not the center of attention. We have Nore, Nore Brielle. Nore Brielle is from the Nore Scope by Jennifer Sussman Price from Silicone Studio. This baby is about 14 inches, 14 and a half inches. <coughs> Sorry. And she is painted by me and she's still a little bald headed baby because that's what I do. I always have my little babies all bald headed. It's a little close and close and personal. She is hand painted by me. Um, and one day, like I said, she'll be rooted. Um, I just wanted to come on and show her. And I just, you know, I've been talking about armatures a lot. So I'm kind of like, nor is my right now. I am going to have a full size baby eventually when I write, finish this baby. Um, I have a kit full body that has full armatures um, and can pose even more so than minori believe it or not if you think that's even possible um so i just love that hold on she got fuzzies mm -hmm. i just love that i can ball her up in so many you know ways um i Typically, you know, I don't like a baby that's in a fixed position like this. I don't like a baby that, you know, has one leg up and one leg down or one short, you know, one bent leg and one straight leg. I don't like sculpts like that. That's permanently like that. But I do like to be able to have that flex. And so I just wanted to also, like I said, I've been talking about armature. So if you're tired of hearing about it, I'm sorry. Um, I just wanted to sh share that there is difference in different armatures. I've had armatures that do like a whole like rotation and stuff that's really cool. Um, I heard that those type of armatures are very expensive. I think that was Tory Dolls that I, um, that baby had those type armatures. I, you know, I heard from, you know, very good source that those armatures is very, very expensive. I don't know what kind they are or none of that. Um, I don't really f feel like Nori's armatures are very, like, thick or anything. It just feels like she has a, if you really feel, feel, feel in there, feels like she has a bone. But the difference is she has them in her hips. So it allows her to open her legs all the way out like that. Or, you know, also close her legs. And I love that. Um, she, you know, and then she can bend in. And, you know, babies, um, they do. They, they kick their legs up. And I can promise you, even at this age, I was so fascinated um, when my first grandbabies were born. They were uh, micro preemies. They were... My daughter had them at about 29 weeks, right, like, right almost at 29 weeks. And they were like two pounds. They were like 12 inches, 11, you know, 11, 12 inches. And they were like two pound babies. And 
I was so amazed at the videos and I do have videos of them and it, you know Audrey would take and put her foot in her mouth and I was like wait aren't they like undeveloped like how are they doing all this stuff she would put her foot in her mouth she would be kicking and going on in that little incubator and I was like mind blown because you know you think when they're little like this you're like surely they they you know they're not going to be really doing much but no she started moving and kicking and she was so little we were like you know they have goal weights and they have to keep certain heat temperature for them to come home so we were monitoring their measurements you know a lot and so she was very little not three not three pounds yet and so it was just amazing to see um you know how much they do so they you know babies do tend to you know ball up and you know do a lot because i think they think they're still in the womb <laughs> uh oh or they you know haven't gotten used to being outside so yeah so they are you know balled up a lot and curled up a lot and so you know that's why i can understand when people like babies that is naturally just in a sculpted position like this because they do be in that position a lot I just like because I'm a doll collector right and so I want to be able to dress the baby and pose the baby and when a baby is like constantly stuck in this it's like it's it's hard to pose them for me that's just my personal opinion I you know I rather a straight leg baby or a baby that legs kind of have a little bit more give to it but you know to each his own um but i i have gotten armatures where they're just in the legs and so the only thing they can do is bend up and down and for me you know with soft silicone you can do that without an armature so it you know the only thing that that does when you put an armature in a baby's leg like that if the baby is super soft and it's really thin it helps the legs from being f just flanging everywhere and looking very noodly like when you're changing a diaper so it stabilizes the leg and make it ha keep a very good um structure so um i can definitely you know still see somebody may you know wanting to get a armature that that just uh is not in the hip area but if I'm going to get leg armatures um, moving forward, it's going to be, uh, I'm, I'm going to want them in the hip area so that I can do, you know, all the poses. Because, you know, my, my main thing is I like being able to, like I said, I can close her legs or I can, you know, make them go any way I want them to go. So... She has a squishy tummy too, so. And, you know, that's another thing. It doesn't, you know, silicone is soft. It's going to be softer than vinyl. And on camera, you know, you don't really know. You don't know if I'm squeezing this baby soft or if I'm squeezing it hard. Like, other than you might can see the color in my hand change when I flex. So you might can see it turn red or, you know, but I'm dark skinned, so, or black, <laughs> whatever. I got a little bit more, uh, I'm a little bit more melanated than some people, but you don't know. I can be squeezing the stomach and squeezing the, you know, the body and you're just like, oh, that's soft, that's soft. But that baby, you know, when you do this <laughs> and that baby just like, you that's, that's all you can do is see it go like that if that baby ain't falling in <laughs> baby that thing ain't thing thinking <laughs> the soft ain't softening <laughs> it's just you know but even so like she 
I mean, you can look and see like her midsection actually do bend a bit. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. But she's not gonna, she's not gonna bend as much. She's, she's soft, but I, you know, you gotta keep in mind, I've had Nori for a while now. I need to find out how long I've had Nori. I've had Nori for a while now. And I don't keep up like a lot of people will be like, oh, I've had him a year, had him this. Only baby I keep up with is Paris Mill more because she's my oldest baby in my collection for the most part. But I feel like Silicone Studio has started pouring softer now. So um, then when I got my Nori. So um the other Nori's might be softer by now. But anyway, she's she's soft enough for me. And she's really soft and she feels really nice. And she's a forever baby. And she's, you know, she will she is um my favorite baby. She is she is definitely, you know, one of my my top favorites. I'll say that. She is definitely one of my top favorites. And I will always love Nori. Um, just Nori just came at a good time, and, and, you know, and it's just a lot circulating around this baby. You know, when she came, her size, the way her face look, just a lot of different stuff. Um, so anyway, that's that. My next baby that I'm going to pop over is going to be Logan. And I just need to find him a onesie so I can get him dressed because he's going to be going home. So I got to get him dressed. I got him together and I got him on a diaper, but he needs a onesie. And so I haven't decided what color onesie or trying to find which onesie I'm going to put him on. I know it shouldn't be that deep, but I want his onesie to kind of at least blend under his sleeper that he's going to wear to travel in and then I need to find a matching hat so once I do those things I will come back um the lighting is very bright on Nori today so keep that in mind as you know let me see if I get closer you can see that she gets darker because that hat is a powder blue just keep that in mind but when as I scroll out you can see that the hats began to look white almost and the bottom of her feet is fairly pink so but when I the further I go out the light goes in and out but she's little little peanut look at that I'm gonna show you guys Standard size scissors. This is no, I'm not gonna use scissors because y'all would be freaking out. Oh, she got the scissors by the baby. But this is a the toothbrush. So that's the toothbrush, <laughs> and she's balled up though. Um, but it's it's it just always cracks me up when I really start putting stuff beside her. Um, what else? Even like if I put my my iPhone next to her, like it will literally like oh my gosh wait I want to show my stuff. Okay, it will literally like almost cover her little body. So she's she's a little peanut. And I love that. That's what I love about her. So, I wish I could find more hats like this. If anybody in the comment section makes soul sews or anything like that and can make me some more of these little hats that will fit my Nori, please um, private message me or comment and let me know. Um, I prefer you to private message me on Facebook or Instagram. And also, if anybody does... Um, custom like diapers I would love to get her a diaper that look like the little Joey diapers for her size like a you know white 
Um, I know like Sarah Wood does, you know, micro creamy stuff. A lot of her stuff is like decorated and stuff, but I want one to look like very, you know, standard. So, but yeah, you see how I like, that's why I like the armatures because I can, you know, straighten her legs out and make her <laughs> just look like she's just laying down. It's just, you know, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and until the next video.